you don't have to go and find the right master. The right master will find you. But only thing is that you have to wait for the right time and you have to become the right student. When you become the right student, the right master will find you. When you cannot become the right student, even there might be the thousands of the right masters might come, they will not find you. When you become the wrong student, when you become the fake student, then you will find only wrong and the fake master. So you have to become the right student. Now you have to know the one thing, what is the right master? Right master is that, that master who you, who can lead you on the right path, who, who awakes you from the sleep. That is the right master. You might think that right now you are awake, but actually you are not awake. Still you are sleeping. Still you are not fully awake. So that's why the Buddha root actually means the awake. The right master is the person who will awake you. The person who will enlighten you. That is the right master. That you don't have to search that master. Like that master. First you become the right student. Wait for the right time. Then the right master will come. And find you. Generally, people used to ask me why there are a lot of fake masters in this world. My answer is a very simple. Because there are the many fake masters because there are many fake students. When there are many fake students, there are many fake masters will come. When there are more right students comes, then the more right master will come. So you have to become the right student. When you become the right student, then the right time will come. When the right time comes, the right master will find you. Generally the Buddhism that the in a the very importance for the masters. Also, it talks about the very importance of the student's quality. They will be also you have to know the what should be the master's quality and the what is the student's quality. First quality to become the right student, you should be the very intelligent. What I mean by the intelligent is a very proper analysis. You have to do the every issue with a very proper analysis. That's it's called the intelligence. So you have to become the intelligence, more tolerant towards the suffering. And then you should be the very wise with the every whatever the action what you do, you should be the very wise. When you have the, these qualities, then you already become the right student. When you become the right student, then don't worry, the right master will find you. Sooner or later, the right master will find you as the Buddha's time. There is one very notorious robber whose name is Ankulimaru. He killed more than 99 people. After the killing the 99 people, then Buddha came towards him to give him the advice. Up till that moment, Buddha didn't give any advice. Actually, Buddha can meet him, that person, before killing the 99 people. Why Buddha didn't give the advice to that notorious robber before he kills the 99 people? Because his right time didn't come. Also, before the killing the 99 people, he was a not right student. One advice enlightened him and he threw the all the weapons and fell on the Buddha's feet and said, now he will take the refuge to the right time. So you have to wait for the right time. How will the right time will come? Don't worry about it. Be the right student. Then the right time will come. Then the right you will meet the right master. Then Liberation is not far. Then liberation, enlightenment will be in your hand.